bearers to our Lord and Savior Jesus, who is the Christ, to my wife, to my wife, thank God for her presence, to our son, Reverend Robertson, all the other preachers, sons and daughters in the ministry, and they're absent to our deacon board, those that are here, and they're absent to all of God's children. We greet you in his name. Something about the name of Jesus. There's something that's sweeter than honey. The honey comes. Something about that name. That soothes me and remove all my fear. Something about that name. That I can lean on and trust in him. We're grateful. Thank God again for everyone here. For those who are not here, we have a lot called this morning requesting more prayer. We thank God and we're definitely going to be lifting up all. Continue to pray for one another. Amen. Amen. We have many others. Amen. That are sick. Let's keep one another in prayer. Amen. The gospel according to St. Luke. The fifth chapter, very familiar passage, the fifth chapter, we'll be reading verses 1 through 11, we're going to share again some principles, some points, amen, that shall help us in this, the journey that we're on, the calling that God has on all of our lives. It's called to discipleship. There's principles that is tucked away, tucked away in this passage that will help us. Amen. Amen. On our journey. Luke, the fifth chapter, starting with verse number one. Amen. Amen. Luke, the fifth chapter, starting with verse number. Let him in, let him in, let him in. All right. Luke, the fifth chapter. Starting with verse number one. <clears throat> Say amen if you have it. If not, it's up on the screen. Amen. amen. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Lunch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught. Mm -hmm. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Mm -hmm. And when they had this done, mm -hmm. they enclosed a great multitude of fishes as their net break. Mm -hmm. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. Mm -hmm. And they came mm -hmm. and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. Mm -hmm. When Simon Peter saw it, what did he see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Mm -hmm. For he was astonished at all that were with him and the drought of the fishes which they had taken. Mm -hmm. And so was also James and John and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, for henceforth thou shalt catch men. 
And when they had brought their ships to land, this is what they did. Mm -hmm. They forsook all yeah. and followed him at your word. Mm. That's what we want to talk about today. At your word. Don't, please don't take that, that lightly. Mm -hmm. At your word. For you all who have been with us since the first of this year and the teaching that we have been doing and the Spirit of the Lord has led me to do for the church, mm -hmm. amen, it has been a blessing to me and hopefully you have received what God intended for you to have from the message. <clears throat> You know, we started this year off and we're going to continue to sing that thing, how to make it, how to live, how to overcome life's toughest problems. We started out talking about my favorite passage of Proverbs, the third chapter, verse 5, 6. We talked about trusting in the Lord with all your heart and leaning not to your own understanding, Brother Trent, but in all your ways you acknowledge him. The promise was that he shall direct your path. After that, we start sharing with you from Second Chronicles, again, how to make it. But Asa, the king, amen, had to move from his mindset that victim's mentality. It had to grab hold to the victor's mentality. We shared with you that don't forget what God has already done for you. If God has already brought us through some trials and tribulation in the year of 2020, surely he's the same God and has the same power, the same place, the same authority to bring us through situations that we shall face or we are facing now. Uh, amen, go right there. We shared with you, if you ever get yourself in a mess, let God get you out of it. Yes, sir. We also talked on the next lesson, uh, about Elijah. In Second King, we told you you have to have courage to live. You, you, can't, you can't run, but you got to be able to stand strong even when you have Jezebels on your trail. Even when threats come, you got to remain faithful to God and the promise of God, especially when God have already proven himself. But Mike, if he gives you victory, over false prophets and idols, surely he can handle other situations. <coughs> so we have to understand then um, how to make it and how you got to uh, rest. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that last week, how you have to rest and, you know, refuel. Mm -hmm. How you need to refuel and take a rest, not from uh, the kingdom work, but rest from situation that is harmful to you. Rest from some people that have, does not have your best interest. Yeah, right. You got to take a rest from that so you can refuel. Then you got to reset. Y'all remember that? You got yeah. to reset and, and all of that. And then you got to be able to receive. Mm -hmm. So now today we want to share with you, amen, from Luke's Gospel, Luke the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 11. And I want to pose a question, and I'm quite sure I'm looking at a lot of people that I believe have experienced this. Have you ever done something you didn't want to do? Have you ever done something that you didn't want to do? Oh, yeah. But yet because of the respect you have for the person that asked you to do it, uh -huh. you went on and done it anyway. Yeah, come on now. If I'm talking to anybody here, yeah. 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 You, you know, it's sometimes on jobs that you are asked to do some things, D. Yeah. That you really don't want to do. Yeah. Right. Amen. You feel like it's not the right thing to do. Why you ask me to do it? But yet, because who gave you the order? Yeah, yeah. come on now. To do it, you went on and done it anyway. Sometimes yeah. like that in marriage. Yeah, yeah. Right. Can I get a witness up in here? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. in marriage and relationship, uh, from either side, uh, they can pose a question and a challenge and ask you to do something that you really 
at this time you just don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Is I'm talking to anybody yeah. in here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody that's in a yeah. marriage relationship yeah. that the spouse asked you to do something. Yeah. Yes, you was in your comfort zone. Yes, you feel like you have, you're tired, you've been toiling. Yeah. Yes, but yeah. you went on did it because the fact of the matter, who asked you to do it? Yeah. Can yeah. I get a witness here? Yeah. yeah, I said, yeah, 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 not only that, but even sometimes our children. Yeah. Come on, somebody, ask us to do some things for them and help them in certain areas, yet you really don't want to do it, but because of who asked you to do it, you go on and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all, this is real. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm talking to somebody in here that's facing yeah. 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 it. It even happens in the church sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That you are asked to do something, yeah. yet you really don't want to do it. But because Pastor asked you, yeah. come on here, because Pastor asked oh, you, because yeah. somebody else asked you to do it, the respect for the person, you go on and do it, yes. but you really didn't want to do it. Right. There's somebody here today that really just didn't feel like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Issues. Come on here. It's your sickness. Been feeling the whole bad, feeling good the whole week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all of a sudden this morning, your body started aching with pain. You just didn't feel like going. But I've got good news for you. This is the time. I'm so glad you showed up this morning. You didn't feel like doing it, but you did it anyway. And since you're here right now, God going to bless you real well. Uh, well, can I ask you a question? Come on. I asked that. Can I ask you? Yeah, have you ever yeah. done something you didn't at first want to do? And then it turned out to be the best thing you ever did? Yeah. Come on, here, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes, sir. It's something you didn't want to do. But after you've done it, you have to testify. The results came out so good. I'm glad I did. Yeah. 